Good morning to our friends from Audrey's, makeup artist. Uh, Brad Craig is here. Carrie Price is here. How are you? Very good. 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 You, you guys We're look good. great this morning. Thank you. Yeah, a little yeah. tired, but a little you know, yeah, a rough night, eh? Just a bit. Bit of a rough night. Who's our victim uh, in the chair there? This is Karina. Yeah. Uh, the big zombie walk. Hi, Karina. How are you? Big zombie walk's coming, eh? It is. A couple of weekends away. Yeah. Not yeah. this weekend, next. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fab. I've noticed that uh, zombie walks in general, not just here, but zombie walks all over the place are becoming very, very popular. Yeah, it's booming. It's it's uh, worldwide now, all the way across Singapore. Is that right? America, yeah. What was it? Like the zombie movies came uh, back, uh, you know, yeah, a few years ago movies, and stuff? Yeah, uh, It started about 2003 out in California. There was a yeah. zombie movie boom. and. It quickly spread to Toronto and then uh, yeah. all across Canada. Brad's freaking me out right now. I can hardly look at the man, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> you did all this yourself or what else? Uh, Carrie applied it. Carrie, yeah. Carrie put the mask on for yeah. you? Yeah, so it's just Plus the Plus you've got piece. contacts, right? Yeah. Which, by the way, if you order them from the right people, get them from the right people, they're safe. Health Canada approved. Yeah. Very important. they got to be Health Canada approved. It's your eyes. You only have... Yeah. And yeah, if you don't know how to use them, get somebody who does. Absolutely. Right? Right. Okay, so we're going to get ready for the zombie walk uh, by getting our victim zombied up, right? Yeah. So How difficult is this, Carrie? Very easy. You can make it as easy as one, two, three. Basically, you just need some makeup to put around the eyes to give that dead look. Yeah. A little bit of latex and a little bit of blood. That's it. You can go all all out elaborate if you want and do prosthetics like we've done right. with Brad uh, here. These yeah. are there's, these are foam prosthetics that we buy. They have no color on them at all that you can get. And then the rest is all detailed. I've airbrushed it here. I've used a little bit of uh, cream-based makeup and yeah. to give it the detail. So you can you can add on into the mask itself. Is no, that what you not do? adding you just on. Leave just it? the makeup. Just the makeup. That's the what makeup I mean. Part. Yeah, you exactly. can put extra blood on if you want it or what, whatever suits you. Yeah, if we wanted yeah. to make it look like he just ate, we can have the blood oozing yeah. out of him. So Brad, <laughs> Brad's got the full guy. He's a good, good zombie. <laughs> but you've also your makeup is in fact just on your face, right? There's no prosthetics involved. Exactly, there. it's just makeup. So I've got a base on. I've got a little bit of latex that I've used with some Kleenex, which I'm going to demo here in a few seconds. Okay. Show me and, how. Uh, I want to I right. see how. So I'm just darkening her eyes here, but with the latex, what right. we do is, once I would have had a base on her so already. So here's your palette of colors, and it's mm -hmm. just like any other makeup, basically. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And we get the latex going. We just, how we do it is we just put a little layer on at the bottom. Right. That's latex? Get it going. Clear it's latex. clear latex. 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 It's going to dry. Yeah. Some people can clear. have allergies to this, so it's a good idea to test it on your hand right. before applying it all over your yeah. face. You've got a huge supply at Audrey's, right? We do. Of, of makeup yeah. like this uh, for any, any yeah. costume. Really. Absolutely. But this is the latex is one of the base things that you have, uh, Gary, all the time, right? Exactly. It, no matter what you're doing. Exactly. So all I've got is a little layer here, and it's starting to dry. Right. So I just get the Kleenex on, so it's gonna when I put the uh, paint and the cream and the makeup on. Right. It's gonna give it that 3D effect, so it's starting to look like skin that's starting to decay the way that I've got it here on gotcha. my face. Gotcha. And you're just using tissues. Just tissues, and then latex, wow. letting it dry, and you do so a few cool. layers back and forth, and just looks like Kleenex now, but. When you once I've done the effects, it. once you've colored it up and got the blood going, right. got that nice decayed flesh look. Uh, I love decayed flesh yeah. in the morning. Um, Brad, uh, Breakfast when it for everybody. That's right. When it comes to uh, what you're wearing clothing wise as a zombie, I mean, zombies could be wearing anything. Absolutely. First of all. When the zombie apocalypse happens, it's not just going to target people dressed as zombies. Right. It's going to target anyone. Like, so you could be going as yourself. Yeah. And yeah, you could a have a full suit guts, on. Yeah. But you want to you want to mud up the suit yeah, or, or could, you know yeah. get it dirty. I've used actual mud on mine. Yeah. You can use uh, spray paint. It's a good look for it. Uh, use an exacto blade. Cut some holes in it to shear it. Make it look a little torn up. Break splash it down. some blood on it. Yeah. Break it down. Yeah. Look like you've been in a grave for a while. Yeah. Exactly. That's all. I suggest going to Value Village for twenty bucks. Yeah. You can walk out of there with a full outfit. Exactly. No matter what you want to be, like exactly. you're a chef, obviously, or you were yep. in your former life. In my former uh, life. Go, I want to see some more, uh, some more of this action because we're going to do this up, and then later on we're going to talk more zombie walk and actually learn how to zombie walk, Brad. Sure. Uh, I, I like that whole idea because there's a trick to the the whole zombie walk. So that's a little darker red, right? Yeah, just to look like on the bottom. Give it the, yeah, a little that bit of That makes it look red, like it's dry. And blacks, right? Exactly. And you, you actually create a wound simply by touching up the uh, the tissue paper that you stuck on there. Exactly. And then I've just the got a, a product called Blood Paste or Blood Gel. Right. And that's what gives you this 3D effect, and you just start applying it. Oh. See, so it's oh. really creepy and gross. How cool. And you're just rolling the brush. Yeah. Simple as that. And it stays that way? It stays that way. 
<laughs> even, even better, if it's, a, if it's a warm day, sometimes this stuff, as your face gets warm, it starts to sort of ooze, so it looks like it's dripping off of your face. Nice. So that's why we like the, the You're going to make a great looking face. zombie. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> More on the zombie wall. When is it again, Brad? We October 27th. Yeah, like yeah. That, the last Saturday before Halloween. Last Saturday before As Halloween. As it should be. And is it during the day? It's during the day. It starts at 3.30 sharp. They're going to be doing makeup applications at 245. Yes. Yeah. McDonald Gardens Park. Good stuff. All right, we'll talk more about it later. We'll get more lessons in uh, being a zombie. Uh, because around here, when you get Audrey's in the show, you get a leg up in the competition. That's what happens.